Hi guys, so today I am sitting down to do a video where I am going to steal someone's style. saying, what do you mean steal her style? So typically most of the celebrities and bloggers that we're seeing out there and that we're seeing photographs of are typically much younger than I am. They're usually in their 20s or 30s. I am 45. They typically tend to be more of a size zero or a size two. I'm a size eight or size 10. And most of them live a lifestyle where they are constantly like doing fancy things and this, that, and the other. I'm a mom who works at home and I'm typically out running errands and going out on date nights. I thought this was a great way to choose someone and really take their style and make it work in my lifestyle, my body type, and my age. For this first video in this series, I decided to take 37-year-old blogger, Courtney Kerr. Now, Courtney Kerr got her start as a TV personality in the show Dallas Most Eligible, and then she went on to have her own show just about her and how her blogging has taken off. She is now a large presence on Instagram. She also has a YouTube page, which is much smaller, but if you haven't checked that out, go check it out. I'll link it down below. She has her own fashion sense and her way of kind of taking classics and spinning them, but adding in pieces that are very stylish and on trend. She also talks a lot about skincare, about her hair, about makeup and things like that. Her makeup look tends to be very minimal. She tends to just mostly wear one shadow kind of all over the lid, very similar kind of to what I do. She does wear false lashes every single day. She talks about how she wears false lashes every single day. The fact that she loves the Ardell Wispies and those personally do not work for me. They're too big for my eyes. They look really just too out there for me. I personally went with the Ardell Demi Wispies. That is the pair that I grab for if I'm going to go for a false lash. She tends to wear a matte lip a lot of different times. This one that I have on right now is one that she talks about and wears quite frequently and it is the Estee Lauder Burnt Raisin. I don't typically go for an all matte lip and I typically use lip liner, but this lipstick actually works very well just to do a lip that is gonna stick with you all day. And it's a really pretty color. Now for hair, she tends to do a very loose tousled wave with very straight ends. She doesn't do the curl all the way down to the ends. So I actually took my hair and did a very similar look today. Now that we have hair and makeup basically done in a similar style to hers, let's move on to her actual outfits now that we have the basic overall makeup and hair look done. So the first look I'm gonna talk about is a look that she was out at an event. She had an oversized blazer on that probably in the photo kinda looks like she might not have on anything underneath. That doesn't always work for me, so I put a little top underneath, a little black top that was a lower cut top than what I would typically wear. My blazer was not quite as long as hers, but gave the same look. You don't have to have those exact pieces in order to replicate a similar look. The jeans, hers were a little bit more distressed than mine, but they were definitely a boyfriend cut with a roll up hem. It was very comfortable, kind of slouchy looking jeans, and then a pointed toe black pump. Any black pump will do with this. I just put on the one pair that I tend to have of a black pump. It is a very classic, easy look. She also had a very structured bag in this picture. I didn't have one that was quite as structured as hers, but I do have something that kind of has that same shape and style to it. It made the whole look come together very easily and very similar to how I stole her style from this look. Look number two. Look number two was actually a look that she did from a photo she took at the reward style conference from this year, which I did not go to. And actually last year when I was there, I did meet Courtney Kerr and get to say hi to her for just a moment. Um, she was the sweetest person in real life and just as gorgeous in real life. So this look was basically an all white look. I have this on now, I have the blazer and the top I have on in the video. She did a fun look kind of with sunglasses on, seated back, kind of legs out. It was very simple. She did a wide leg white 
jean. I do have wide leg jeans. I do not have a wide leg white pair. For me, it just isn't something that is conducive to my life during the summertime when I would tend to wear white jeans more often. So I went with a straight leg white jean that was very comfortable. I also threw on a white heel that was a thicker blocked heel. Mine was an open toed. Hers was a pointed toed. But again, this shows and tells you ways that you can wear a similar look without having to do the exact same pieces you see these people wearing. Same thing with me. You do not have to have the exact pieces that I show you. It just has to give you the general look. You can replicate that same look. Look number three was a look that she did. It looks like it was at a winery that she tagged there. And it was just a cute, very square necked shirt. Hers was a cropped style shirt. I do not wear cropped styled shirts. They don't work on my body type. They just draw too much attention in at my waist. So I don't tend to wear those. But this top that I have is a longer top that I was able to actually just do a front tuck into both of the pockets to create that same look of having a shorter top, but actually still have the comfort that the top was a little bit longer in the back and gave me the comfort that I want in an outfit. I also had a pair of just wide leg, flare jeans that I put on with this. They were super comfortable. I love wearing them. I love the flare jeans in a darker blue because I can wear them through the winter as well. As I mentioned, white ones just might not work into my wardrobe for the summer. She did have on a pair of blue. It was a pointed toe shoe. The ones that she tagged in the photo were a stiletto type. I did happen to have a pair of bright blue wedges that were a pointed toed shoe that worked for this. Now again, you do not have to have a blue shoe to make this look work, but the blue and white stripes in the shirt, the blue jeans with the pop of blue coming out at the bottom was what she had. And I just happened to have something that worked. If you only have a black pair of pointed toed shoes or a leopard pair or whatever you own, you can make that work with this as well. She also had on a crossbody Chanel bag. Hers was a cream one with black piping. I have a black Chanel crossbody wallet on a chain. I put that on with this look and it kind of completed it to make it work. Look number four. Look number four was a look that she wore when she was traveling and she did a whole series about like what she packed in a carry-on and how she wore it multiple times. And it was just a comfortable pair of joggers with a white t-shirt. She had on a pair of Golden Goose sneakers. I don't personally feel as if I would get enough use out of spending the money on a pair of Golden Goose sneakers. However, I put on my classic Adidas Superstars, that same black blazer that you had seen in the previous look, and I was good to go for that same look. Very simple, very easy, very comfortable. So for me, this was the easiest look to steal because I already had very similar items and it looked so similar to me that it wasn't really a far-fetched look. It but that blazer would take it to a different level than what I would typically wear on an everyday basis. Look number five. Look number five is something that I just thought was really cute. I loved the look of the, the lighter wash on the jeans with a pair of pumps. Again, I don't have a pointed toe neutral pair, so I threw on my strappy nude pair that are an open toed sandal. The white blouse that she had on was a little bit more structured. I tend to go for a looser fit white blouse. The one that I have on the photo is no longer available, but they have a similar option that is exactly like it without the white like boxes to it. So I actually am gonna pick that one up as well. She also had her hair up in a cute little headband. I didn't have a headband, but I did have a little scarf that I just used and tied up around my hair to give me that similar look and feel with making it my own and me not having to go out and buy every item that was in that photo. I thought this was such a fun idea. If you do not yet follow me on Instagram, go over there and follow me because a lot of times on Instagram stories, that is where I ask you guys for ideas of videos and things like that. Also, if you don't follow me on Instagram and you just want to let me know someone you think would be a great person for me to steal the style of, please put those down in the comments as well because I do take a look at those for some ideas as well. If you are new to my channel, I would love if you click that little red button right down below and go follow along and subscribe with me. As always, everything I am wearing as far as makeup and jewelry will be listed down in the description box. And if you have any questions, 
please post them down below. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and sticking with me and have a great day. Bye.